Okay, Cadridges, here we come. Attempt number three. I'll spin round. That's where we're going to go. Out of the farmer's uh, uh, campsite. About, uh, half a mile down the road to the trailhead and up the Minford path. So uh, obviously we're going to be uh, operating under headlamps very shortly. So uh, I'll catch you a little bit later. Uh, I'll just check in before we lose the light and it's going to be a oh, breaks his ankle. <laughs> well, there we are, familiar, well trodden Minford path. So, all being well, we'll make it safely up to uh, Lin Car, Fling Car, and we'll camp up there and make the ascent tomorrow. So, uh, catch you in a bit. Hi there, thought I'd just check in and uh, while well, I've got a little bit of light left. So uh, here we are then, just about to make, well, we just started the trailhead on the Minford path of Caddo Idris. Uh, for those who know, uh, we attempted this about six weeks ago now, or oh, well, well, more than that, probably eight weeks ago uh, in the summertime. It's uh, October now and uh, we were beaten back by bad weather, um, foul conditions. It's not supposed to be any better tomorrow, but today has been fortunate. We've arrived here a little bit later than I'd like, but uh, we parked at a local uh, campsite, as you've seen, a uh, short half mile stretch down the road, and then uh, obviously joined the trailhead. So, uh, so far, so good. We've got the infamous steps to uh, tackle first, uh, and then we're going to make about 1,400 feet and camp in uh, Flinker uh, and a wild camp up there tonight. And then finish off the ascent uh, at the top of Caddo uh, Idris, Penicadere, tomorrow. Fingers crossed, if the mountain gods allow us. So cool. Oh, yeah. I don't know whether you can hear me, but uh, if not, just treat it as an audio over the top of a little bit of uh, footage of Caddo Idris at night. But uh, anyway, moving on from the realities of filming at night, but uh, we're steadily going up the steps now, the lower part of uh, the Minford path. Um, all going well, all three of us, me, John and Sky. three of us in the party again for this camp and climb. All doing well. Again, we wouldn't be able to do anything at all without uh, headlamps. Uh, I took the batteries hold of me. <laughs> Legs feeling okay. It's a bit of a punisher. Yeah. As I've said in previous videos, and you know, these are a bit of a caner really, at least I find them so. But the use of a walking poles really does make a difference. But good. Oh yeah. Okay then, we've made about uh, approaching 1300 feet. And uh, we're about, um, I believe it's about 478 meters absolute. Um, I think uh, the, the, the mountain lake is literally about 70 meters ahead of us. So uh, we're actually in the, uh, the glacial quarry now, or Coombe in Welsh. So, uh, yeah, so soon we find a suitable flat, relatively dry spot, we're going to pitch the tents and get some scran on. So, uh, all good. So uh, it's beautiful and peaceful though, it really is. And we're sheltered from the wind pretty much down here in the cool. So uh, looking forward to getting a tent pitched and uh, some food. So uh, cool, see you in a bit. Okay. That's the way to do it, flint and steel. Nice job, John. Yeah. 
Hey, 10 pitched food cooking. So it's a dolmio ball in the bag, spicy pasta. So we'll see how it goes like. Wow, our tea was lovely, I enjoyed that. Uh, spicy pasta, our chocolate, uh, a few fig rolls to follow, the food of the gods, and uh, a nice cup of coffee, a little bit of boom boom. So uh, beautiful, loved it. The sky's turned in now, she's tired, so uh, she's uh, getting her head down in her uh, a minus 19 sleeping bag. John's up on the rock behind us, you can't see it, you'll see it in the morning. And uh, getting a few signals away before uh, we all think about bedding down. So uh, I'm just gonna go for a quick walk, a um, little bit of chill time. This is a, probably the best part of a camp really is, you know, you've pitched after you've hiked up and uh, you know, you've had your, you know, you've had your uh, scram and your food and uh, you can just chill out and be one with nature it's beautiful so uh, i'm gonna continue with that for a little bit and uh, i'll catch up with you in the tent later and so i'm ready to go get uh, some sleep and uh, sign off for the day so uh, see you in a little bit oh yeah cool i'll just do me uh, camp admin put everything we need to be um putting the, the phone on charge and storing away your breakfast so it doesn't spill everywhere, but it's ready to go in the morning when you first get up and then reorganising your sleeping bag, you know, the usual things. So that's all been done now. I'll have a little walk out in the uh, the campsite, which is always nice. So yeah, it's been good. So I said earlier, food was good, so it's uh, time to get some sleep now. So uh, we are camped at... I'm trying to think what we're camped at. Uh, 472 meters, so it's a it's a pretty high camp, um, and we're about probably about 100 meters thereabouts from um, Flinker, the uh, the Cory Lake uh, underneath the um, uh, Cragker and Pennycader. So uh, it's a beautiful place. Hopefully. It won't be too misty or cloudy in the morning. That's probably asking a lot because the uh, the weather forecast is not good, not favourable. But hopefully it'll be better than it says. And um, I'll show you around in the morning some of the wonderful scenery there is around here because it's really beautiful mountain scenery on Cadaridris. So uh, cool. So uh, I'll say good night and uh, see you in the morning. Morning, it's uh, 07.40 I believe. I didn't have a bad sleep in all truth. Uh, probably got about three or four hours. Um, so all good. So we'll go and have a look. and misty morning, albeit not as misty as I thought it was going to be, but uh, a blustery night, it's great, and uh, as you can see, good job he camped on a little bit of high ground, it was last night dry, Okay then, so uh, breakfast done, um, coffee, needed that, so there's a bit of tent admin now, collect everything we possibly can, get in the tent, pack as much as we can, 
know, the last few things you do outside, you have to do, because you can't pack the tent till it's dropped. So, um, yeah, we're trying to keep things as dry as we possibly can. It's difficult when it's as wet as it is. But um, that's the nature of it. At least we're on just a, a one night wild camp this time. Maybe you could go on to a multi night camp. You'd have to be really, really careful about how you stowed the tent and what clothes got wet, etc. What kit got wet. Uh, otherwise, you'd have a very, very uncomfortable night the following day. But uh, that's not a concern for us now. So, what we're going to do is obviously get ready, drop the tent, and then hike up to um, the ridge line and then climb uh, up to the summit of Cadridris. Uh, then you could there, uh, and depending on visibility, then we'll either do the horseshoe and come down near the near the side, so to speak, the um, the northern limb of the uh, mountain, or we'll uh, retrace our steps back to where we are now. So that remains to be seen. So, uh, okay, I'll catch up with you later. Unreal. job there's the guys everything's clear leave no trace apart from my uh, my walking poles there to pick up in a moment so uh, yeah excellent it's been a good campsite actually I mean uh, two little spots of high ground one for John and one for me and Sky with rivulets running around the outside as you can see there it's kept us pretty much dry really but uh, a lot of water around, a lot of bog. Crazy. But it's been good. Okay then, so uh, that's where we're going. That's uh, Craig Cow, and then basically the other side of this large rock is the main summit of Penicadere. So that's our uh, our um, destination today, is the summit uh, Penicadere, top of Cadarindra. So uh, I'll check in with you later. See you in a bit. Okay then, so uh, we've left the campsite behind, which is uh, there, and we're at 586 metres now, uh, climbing up the, uh, I guess it would be the sort of southern flanks really of the Cadaridris. Um, the Lynn car is below us, there it is, uh, and obviously we can't see the, the, the top of uh, any there is over there. So, but so so, all good. Okay, that's 622 meters and we're entering the cloud base now. So uh, we're gonna have about 250 meters of mist and cloud to contend with. But not like last time, in all fairness, it's uh, it's slightly better visibility at the minute. It'll probably get worse. 
and uh, but it's probably wetter in terms of rain but uh, everybody's good so uh, on we go meters now so uh, the summit cairn is going to be up there somewhere about another 70 75 meters up so uh, I'll see you at the top Made worse, of course, by you know where the path is on these literally flowing water for the path of the river <laughs> or rivulet anyway. But uh, we're getting there now. We're losing height, so uh, starting to see some farm buildings down there in the distance. So uh, yeah, excellent. So, uh, but then we'll do a bit more. We we'll see if we can locate the guys. Where are they? Spin round. And they're somewhere, can't see them. Oh well. I'll catch up with them in a bit. <laughs> right then. See you in a bit. Are you rubbing it? Oh, <laughs> you blow the rain. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? We're nearly there. <laughs> Probably at half a K in it, but probably half a K down as well. Okay, in distance, half a
Okay, the infamous steps aren't far away. They're just basically at the bottom end of the path there. The path's getting a little bit better now. It's also worn out. So uh, get them done, and then we're on flat ground, sort of flat ground. We've got a half a mile hike then up the uh, road to uh, to the with the cars park in the farm. So uh, good. So uh, I'll check in with you down below then. So uh, wow, what an adventure! Really enjoyed it. That it's been really good. As always, you know, it, uh, when, it's, when it gets tough, it makes it more interesting, doesn't it? Excellent. See you in a bit. Hi there, wow, the last leg, working our, uh, well, steadily working my way down the infamous Minford path steps, my oh, goodness, the mild are coming down and going up, the mild going up, but uh, wow, epic, absolutely epic climb today, so what a hike, what a walk, what a climb, what a mountain, oh, my goodness, Cader Idris, recommended. Okay then, I'll catch up with you at the bottom and uh, sign off with you there. But, uh, wow. What to say, what a camp. It was beautiful. See you later. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. Hard work, but uh, an excellent uh, hike and climb. Kind of just recommended. Big shout out to uh, Guy and John for accompanying me on this uh, wet, windy, wild camp of Cadridris. So, uh, if you enjoyed it, would appreciate a sub or a like. Um, either way, see you in the next one. So, uh, signing out. Take care.